Okay, so I get this. Now how to cover this? This is very simple to cover this with. Cover our board with this adhesive papers. You'll get multiple designs in this board uh, papers. Okay, so now I draw a line over here according to my uh, cake board. And now I'm going to cut it. Okay, so it has a round shape. I'm going to follow the guideline and I'll cut this. Actually, our cake boards, when we are decorating our cake boards, it really helps for the photography as well because many times we get the cake boards with the golden and silver uh, color. Sometimes it uh, all the reflects uh, on our cakes while taking the photographs. And uh, it may spoil your photographs as well. At the same time, if you're making any kind of a theme cakes and you're making uh, your boards, you're decorating your boards according to the theme, then definitely it will enhance the beauty of your teeth, the overall appearance. Okay, so this is how I cut my uh, wallpaper. It's an adhesive wallpaper. It has a sticker. Okay, it has a sticker kind of a thing. I'm just uh, going to fill it. Little tricky job, but wait, no, it's done. Okay, so while using this, you need to just fill this, okay, like this. Okay, I'm not removed the whole uh, sticker from the paper, I'll just arrange on my board edges and then slowly, slowly, I will fill it and remove the excess air, okay? This is how you need to uh, remove the air as well. Good. So this is how easy we have covered our cake board. Now about this. You can cover this um, edges with any satin ribbon uh, with the same kind of a color if you have or any uh, matching color with your cake uh, combination, color combinations. And your cake uh, board will be ready with this beautiful wooden effect. Okay. So uh, this is how we can make our DIY cake boards using adhesive uh, papers, okay? You can see this. This is that simple and easy method. This is a waterproof one. So don't worry about the, that it's a paper, okay? I'll show you a few more uh, papers I'm having with me. I'm having this uh, two more sheets, uh, but these are not adhesive one. So we need to stick it with the glue. Uh, and uh, you cannot use this papers when you are using this uh, without adhesive papers uh, for your cake boards. And if it is not waterproof, then uh, you cannot use for your whipping cakes. Uh, you can use this for your um, Fondant cake, if you are using a cake cards uh, cake and all. So definitely your uh, cake is not going to touch uh, on your cake board. So definitely you can use this size of a board as well. Okay. So we are done with this. Our first method that is a DIY non-edible uh, sticker kind of a thing. Like we can decorate this with the adhesive wallpaper. Okay, you'll get this um, in our at an Amazon, even some craft stores. 
in your cities uh, we are having here uh, diy stores uh, which has beautiful uh, papers available in that stores and we can use that and it's really a cost effective okay you will get that for a 90 rupees the bowl uh, roll and you can cover many boards with that uh, bowl bowl a uh, bowl bowl roll okay fine this is our first method we are done with hopefully you got it okay now our second method as i show you that we are going to do this checkered pattern using fondant okay so uh, i'll just show you how to uh, do this checkered pattern to cover your uh, cake board using fondant okay so for this we need some tools okay so like we need a uh, whatever board you are covering we need that and we need one more board which i have covered with uh, parchment or the baking paper see like this okay i have covered it like this right because i want to say to my all checkered uh, pattern over here and then we are going to transfer it on my cake board okay so for that we need a fondant we are using right now the black and the orange one okay so for that i need to roll the fondant if you have a square cookie cutters you can use a smaller one cookie cutters you can use that or uh, if you have this kind of a cutters it is easily available in the market right now so you can use this um, you can make some geometric illusion patterns as well with this cutters okay i'll just check out the black one as well so we are making the checkered pattern with uh, orange and the black fondant okay so i'll just show you how to do this we just need to knead it okay and now we'll take a little bit of corn flour and we we'll roll it with the rolling pin try to roll it as thin as possible because anyways the fondant which we are going to use for uh, decorating our cake boards it's a uh, almost a kind of a waste because um, nobody is going to eat this fondant when we are covering the cake boards with the fondant but it looks really pretty when you are decorating your cake boards with fondant uh, different textures and patterns so that's why i'm trying that i'll roll it thin okay i roll it this much thin just take this square pattern okay and press it well so i get many squares at one time okay fine i'll just check out the x's see this is our big page okay and now i'll we'll make the same with the black color again i'm going to roll it thin try to match the thickness because uh, get the even looking board
matrix. I spoil this too. No worries. I've already done some squares to just to save the time. So I'm showing you how to do this, okay? Again, press it nicely to get the nice cut. Okay. Let's remove the excess. Okay, we get the all square patterns over here. And now we need to arrange it, okay? So, uh, we are going to transfer the whole pattern on our cake board. So, that's why we need to arrange it. I'll show you. Can I kaise arrange karna hai? Okay, so I'm just doing this. You need not to use any kind of uh, margarine or something like that to apply on the uh, butter paper or the parchment paper. Okay, you can easily peel. Just arrange it nicely. It's a quick process, basically. So make all that. Arrange all that squares. You need to arrange all this as many as that uh, you can cover the whole uh, board with that pattern. Okay, so I'll just uh, complete this and then I'll show you the one I have already made. Okay. This is how we need to uh, arrange all the uh, chicken pattern on the parchment paper covered board. Okay, so I have already made one this. Okay, because it will may take uh, some time. So uh, I have covered this whole board with this pattern. The same black and the orange one. Now I'll show you how to transfer it to the our cake board. Okay, so for that we need to apply some water or some shortening. Okay, before transferring it, we just need to apply some shortening. I'm going to apply. some shortening on my cake board and we are going to transfer it okay this pattern will transfer on our cake board fine now the side which i have already applied a uh, shortening i'm going to stick it over here and according to my Eight foot size, I'm going to cut it. Okay. Okay. So here is my cutter, and with the help of this cutter, I'm going to cut the edges. Yeah, this is very has to be made. I love to cover uh, board 
if I am doing something geometric kind of a patterns or some illusion kinds of uh, textures, then definitely this method helps. Even you can uh, use this method to cover your cakes as well. Okay, so here I cut everything like the excess one. Okay, and now we are going to flip, flip it up like this. Okay, and now I'll just remove the board. First, you remove your board and then peel your paper. Okay, nicely, slowly, or even you can do one thing like you just praise this well so that it will stick on your board nicely and then pin it off. Okay, so that you can fill it easily. I've done this. You need to do this little quickly immediately after uh, it dries so that you'll get a nice clean immediately. No worries. I'll manage this. Once it is dried, it's a little difficult to remove from Fine. So we'll just arrange this, okay. Okay, we'll just remove the excess, which we have already given a cut, okay. And here we are left with this less of the I just apply the short one. Okay, so if some edges are left with the it shows the board, then we'll just do this. We'll just cover it. Fine. So we are done with our checkered pattern. Remove this excess. So this is how we covered our nice checkered pattern on our fondant using the fondant on our cake boards. Isn't it is looking nice? Yeah? Okay. Fine. So this is the second method I have shown you that uh, how to cover the uh, cake board using fondant, but uh, little uh, the, with the different pattern. The regular one you can cover anyways. Just roll the fondant, and then I'll uh, put that uh, uh, roll fondant on my cake board, and I'll roll it as much as thin, and. Uh, then I'll remove the excess, okay? Using my cutters or the tool available in our uh, toolkit, okay? So, all right, we are done with our second method. Is it looking nice? Okay? Very pretty. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the third method, okay? So third method is covering the cake board using uh,
15. Okay, so we are going to do that quickly. Just give me a second to arrange everything. Just a minute. <coughs> Okay. So right now, I'm ready with my tools which we need for covering the cake or cake board using whipped cream. Okay, so uh, just assume that this is the cake. I have already attached this uh, with uh, I didn't see like uh, glue gun and all because uh, working, uh, when I'm working with the 15, it's very difficult uh, because it has no weight on the board. So uh, the real cake goes really good. Uh, Ashwini, one second. Um, yeah. I'm getting comments out here that the video is shaky. Is somebody moving the camera or? Okay, I'll just to see yeah it's clear now yeah it's stable now yeah okay yeah fine so um i used a dummy over here just assume that this is a cake and we need to cover the board uh, with the whipped cream okay when we are doing this method we need a cream I have already whipped the cream for you guys, okay? Otherwise, kafi time hamara jata. So, I have made the cream. There is a normal consistency we need for uh, making the cream. No particular consistency we need for the covering the board, okay? So, for that we need actually uh, the tiny size of a Nozzles. I'll show you which nozzles you can use. Okay. So you can use this round tape or even the star tape. Okay. Okay. Is it visible? Fine. Yeah. So we need this. I'm going to put this in my typing bag. And now, start this. Okay, and put the put some cream in my piping bag. When you're covering uh, your cake board using whipped cream, you need to. Uh, Take little precautions while delivering it or while handling uh, it, okay? So, uh, this is the ages of our cake. So, we are going to cover the whole uh, board with whipped cream first to just start making the lines, after lines. Till the edges of the boat, we need to cover this, okay, properly. And after that, we are going to smooth this. I'll just take some more tea.
it's a white color so hopefully it is visible so just cover it till the edges of your board even you can apply some pictures on your whipped cream boards as well rather than going for a smooth finished board okay i covered this with uh, using this shape and now i'm going to use uh, the smoothers okay the smoothers are from ultimates i'm going to use the smoother for smooth this uh, applied cream so i hold it like this and i'm going to smooth this now this board has a um, really light weight because it has no cake on it so it is a little difficult because it's shaky but i'm trying to manage it Just hold this. Put the smooth one. Okay, this is quite smooth, and now we'll move it out from the edges edge there, just to remove the excess. And then again, so we just we just. So covering the uh, cake board with uh, whipping cream it is a, also a very easy task, but only you need to be very careful while putting your cake in your cake boxes or while delivering it. Okay, so this is how uh, we are done with our cake board covered with the whipping cream fine so i'll just show you um, all of our three boards which we have done right now okay this one is the whipped cream covered board now this is easy to handle because it has no cake on top of that. This is our chicken pattern we have done today using fondant. And this one is the DIY board using adhesive wallpapers. Okay. So these are all three uh, methods I have shown you using different kinds of a medium to cover your cake boards. Okay, so hopefully it will help you to uh, make your nice pretty cake boards according to your theme cakes. Okay, so this is how we uh, I'm done with my 
cake, de how to decorate the cake boards um, section. Okay. Um, Ashwini, thanks a lot. Um, there are a few questions that have um, popped up on the chat. I'm going to read them out one by one, uh, and it'll be kind enough if you can, you know, take these questions and. Um, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, with regards to um, the fondant one, how much time do we need to keep the fondant to dry out? For this, we need not to uh, dry out the fondant basically uh, because uh, if you are transferring after arranging this jacket pattern, uh, I suggest you immediately transfer that. Uh, it will give you an easy peel. If you are going to dry it, then definitely it is not going to stick it or maybe it will stick on your uh, ashman paper as well. So I suggest arrange it and immediately transfer it to your book. Yeah, and uh, will the fondant come along with the cake while cutting the cake? The question is from Diana. Fondant come along? With the cake, while cutting the cake. You know, when you cut the cake, will the fondant stick at the bottom? Uh, yeah, it, uh, it may, because uh, if you're cutting your cake, it may came out. But uh, I'll suggest uh, whenever you are putting, like we usually uh, do this, when we are covering our boards with fondant, we always remove this portion. We, uh, what we do, we take the cake tin or the, uh, as per whatever measurement we are making, like a six inch cake, that time I'll just take the cake card or something like that, uh, six inch, I uh, put it that on my covered board and I just uh, remove the inside part of that uh, fondant. So that uh, definitely we can save our fondant as well and cake can be uh, so that um, but yes when we are uh, cutting the cake it will make him up but that doesn't matter I guess yeah can you uh, please uh, show the nozzles again I mean like bring it closer and show the nozzles uh, this is the one and I'm using a star tip a small star tip will do Right now it is messy because I've used it, but great. If I can show, I just show it. Okay. Even you can use this normal round. Okay, this one. Okay. Yeah. And this star tip, which I have used. Okay. Any star tip will do. The smaller one. Whatever thickness you are uh, like uh, getting, that is depends on the uh, tip you are uh, choosing. Because if you are uh, uh, taking a smaller tip, then the thickness will be little less. So it's depend like what kind of uh, tip you are using. Okay, so these two tips will do fine. Yes, yes, okay. And uh, the other one is on the, the other two questions are from the whipped cream one. Um, uh, won't it come in contact with the cake and spoil the cream on the cake? Sorry? Uh, this question is from Preksha. Mm -hmm. uh, I, her, I'm just, uh, Preksha, type out if uh, I've misunderstood your question. Um, what she's asking is, won't the cream come in contact with the cake and also spoil the cream on the cake? Uh, I guess she want to say that uh, when we are applying the uh, cream, the is that uh, the uh, cream on the cake is going to spoil or not? Yeah, yeah. You, you need to very be uh, very much uh, careful while doing this process. So uh, the same way, that's why I attached this uh, as a, a cake so that I can show you the way I am doing that, and it's a kind of a practice part. Uh, so, you just try it once, you will see that it is that easy and it's actually not uh, um, spoil the uh, cream on the cake. Okay. If you are doing that carefully, then definitely it is not going to spoil. Okay. And uh, how will we cover if we make chocolate truffle cake or chocolate ganache cake? With ganache cake, how you will cover the cake board? Yes. 
Uh, the question is from Debashri. It looks like it's incomplete. Can you just type out what you want to ask while I move on to the next question? Um, and the next question is from Asna. How we can transfer to a cake box? Cake? Box. box. Yeah. Like the whipped cream covered cake? You want yeah. to ask the whipped cream? Yeah, yeah. whipped cream. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, you need to, uh, that's why I've taken this kind of uh, drum board because uh, we can at least hold it, okay? We can uh, put our fingers over here and we can uh, uh, put it in boxes because uh, sometimes when we are using our thinner boards, uh, your fingers can get into the cream. So that's why uh, I already mentioned when you're covering this uh, um, cake board with whipped cream, you uh, need to be very careful while delivering it. Okay. Mm. Once it is transferred uh, to the boxes and all, no worries at all. Okay. And how do you get the cloud effect? Okay. Cloud effect, I get it with the airbrush definitely. I'll just quickly explain, but I am short of a white content actually. That's why I not able to show you uh, the effect but this effect i uh, get it with the airbrush but this uh, you just need to cover the uh, board with uh, white content okay and um, use your airbrush i just cut a piece of um, parchment paper okay just like a cloud uh, uh, shape may and I just put it and uh, I airbrush the edges of that piece. Okay. And after that, I got this effect. So for that, you need to use your um, airbrush. Okay. And uh, you can even uh, airbrush your, uh, you can give, uh, even give a nice cloud effect on your whipped cream as well. For that, you need to I'm having a spatula. Okay, I don't have a spatula over here. I have already smoothed the cream, but I'll show you. Just tap it. Okay, do this on your whipped cream. So you'll get the texture. Okay, I'm doing this with spoon. You can use your uh, palette knife as well. And after doing this, you can airbrush. So you will get a, a nice cloud effect on your uh, whipped cream as well. Hope you can see the texture is coming out on this. Uh, no, it's actually because I think the light is too bright. Yeah, light, light. Yeah. I'll uh, just try to... Many people use this texture on their cakes as well, the rustic look, rough texture. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, this kind of a texture you'll get, and then you, if you airbrush this, this will give you a very nice uh, effect on the texture. Okay, fine. Yeah. Um, thanks, Ashwini. The next question was from Pratima. How many days before we can make cake board ready, and how should we store them or? Or should we just make them uh, the same day before, you know, the cake delivery? Um, see, uh, making a cake for uh, it's an easy task. If you're making it uh, just, you're uh, dripping it just a plain covered one, then it will take hardly a five minutes to cover it. But if you're making something, this kind of a patterns and all, you can do it uh, a day before, or even you can make your, uh, uh, these kinds of uh, cake boards, some people do the brick effects and uh, the stick wood effects. So that uh, that kind of uh, things, uh, you can uh, you can keep it. But it's completely depend on the humidity. If it is the rainy season, then if it, it is going to spoil. But uh, if uh, the humidity is uh, good at your uh, city or the place, then definitely you can make these kinds of uh, uh, boards prior and you can uh, keep it, store it okay. just to save the time. Yeah. 
and if the wallpaper is not a good grade is it safe to use i guess not but okay uh, this that's why i have already mentioned that this is a paper uh, with a waterproof okay it's a waterproof paper uh, definitely if it is a not a waterproof one you cannot uh, use this for your cream cakes because uh, anyways moisture is going but still it is a waterproof you can use it uh because we are already using the kind of stickers and all so uh definitely uh this will give you a quick covered board if you are making your fondant cakes like when i make my fondant cakes there is a cake card under the cake okay so definitely my cake is not going to uh come in contact with that paper directly so yes you can so it is something safe okay yeah um okay i'm just scrolling down the questions one second um this question is from a youtube viewer how do you carry or hold a cake in which the cake board is covered entirely with whipped cake cream i have already explained the same question um uh, that you need uh, something thick boards like this when you are covering your cake boards uh, with whipped cream i will suggest don't go uh, with the uh, thin uh, boards like this so that you can at least hold it okay and you can uh, put it in your boxes and all so you need to take some little precaution when you are covering your boards uh, with whipped cream Okay, uh, so Debashree has come back um, with her question: How will we cover the cake board if we make the chocolate ganache cake? The chocolate ganache cake, uh, I guess, uh, it's depend. You can use this uh, any kind of a medium, uh, not the whipped cream, but you can cover with fondant, and uh, even you can use the DIY makers. So. i will not suggest you to cover the board with ganache the way we are covering uh, it with the whipped cream um but you can use either or method to cover it according to the theme and the look or the decoration you can cover it any or either or method you can use okay um i i think this we have already answered uh, i'll just read it out because while you know baby said there's lack of clarity preksha has typed it out again for the fondant method i asked when she did the transfer the fondant pattern appeared to be stuck to the parchment paper but if we are cutting and transferring immediately won't the squares slide off when we flip uh no actually i made uh, this uh, just to save the time uh, just before some uh, like uh, one hour before and uh, it dries out that's why it stuck to my uh, parchment paper a little bit but if you are making immediately and you are transferring it immediately after uh, placing all the pattern then i guess it will come out easy fill out easy okay um and uh, the next question is from abhilasha when we air brush on the board will the color not go on to the cake as well how can we prevent that okay this is a nice question is very commonly asked question for the cake boards when we are covering with this also uh, definitely when i am doing this uh, if i am going to give the cloud effect so definitely my cake will be of uh, something like a uh, uh, blue color or something like that then uh carefully i will cover this uh with the lace pressure so definitely it will not uh, uh spoil your cake yeah and uh, in terms of the waterproof wallpaper uh is is it called as waterproof wallpaper is that how people need to search uh, and would you get that on amazon it's an adhesive uh, wallpaper basically okay and uh, uh it's always mention on the roll or uh, the tag that it is a waterproof or not if it is not waterproof then i will suggest don't go for that if it is a waterproof then definitely it is uh, best for our cake uh, covering board covering the boards with this papers so it is always mention on that 
and nowadays i guess it is very easily available in craft stores and uh, very handy uh, packs because uh, the wallpaper is basically uh, we get in a uh, big size uh, bowls now this is available in this kinds of uh, smaller packs as well so i already mentioned that always check it is waterproof or not okay, okay. yeah and there are two more people who have been asking about the food grade you know water paper uh, wallpaper is not food grade is it safe to use of course it is safe to use i don't find any kind of uh, uh, unsafety here because uh, the cake is anyways not going to come into the contact with the board if you are using the cake board under your uh, cake process i always do that so i don't find any unsafety measures over here because whenever i make my cake to get the sharp edges and all i always use a uh, cake cards like this one i used here by seema shah so this is when i putting my cake so it is always there under my cake so anyways my edible part is not going to uh, come into the contact of any uh, board so it is safe okay yeah um yeah that brings us to the end of the session ashwini thank you